right now with Bripi of Armenia. Can you please tell more about yourself? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm from Armenia. This is my first time in Philippines. I'm so, so excited. Uh, I'm a model and TV host. So <laughs> okay. okay, Chaira, take a look on this person. She looks like you. You know, I told you before. Yes, I think so. Because she's Slavic beauty, just like you. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay, my first question to you is, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? Uh, I think no. Why? <laughs> because we are the same like other human beings and uh, they have to treat us like uh, other people. It's just uh, something that we are doing now. Very important. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? <laughs> Why? That's an honest question. <laughs> yeah, I think that's an honest question, but I don't know. <laughs> Why? You wear you wear stilettos for a very long time. Does it blister? <laughs> I know. It's like a, a, a something uh, uncomfortable for us, but yeah. we have to do that, okay. right? Do you showcase your skills in a in an equal level of combat? <laughs> <laughs> Just like this, what we're doing. <laughs> See? That's blood sports. <laughs> I think you you play too much uh, PlayStation in your No, life. I watch action movies a lot. And there was actually called for the female Lady Blood Fight. <laughs> okay. It's uh, not the same. Yes. So it's a tournament. This is actually a tournament, not just a pageant. This is a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So funny. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice having interview with uh, uh, Ricky. Yes. Uh, from where? Uh, yes. From where? From Armenia. Okay. I'm gonna move forward to interview some another girl here. I know this is stupid. He's, he's so funny, guys. He's so funny. Oh, watch out. He's terrible. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm here right now with Miss Sonate of Team France. Hello. Can you please tell us more about yourself? Hello everybody, I'm Sonate. I'm 23 years old and I'm a dancer and love to dance. Sorry. Um, I love philosophy, psychology and animals. Okay, uh, before, before we continue this uh, interview with her, uh, Sonate is really uh, fluent in French. So I'm gonna ask her in English question, then she will answer it in French. Then we're gonna help me out to re-subtitle her answer in, in English. Okay, first question. Do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? I will speak French because uh, my English is so bad, I'm so sorry. Je pense que je, je n'ai pas à me mettre dans une position supérieure aux autres. On est tout ici pour quelque chose, c'est qu'on est bien. Et euh, pour moi, chaque femme, qu'elle soit, qu'elle qu ait un titre comme nous ou non, chaque femme a quelque chose en elle qui brille, quelque chose en elle qui la rend belle. Et c'est ce petit plus qui nous différencie, qui nous différencie chacune parce que. On, Voilà, on, a, on a tous quelque chose, on a vraiment tous quelque chose et je ne pense pas que avec mon titre, je, je ne me sens pas comme une déesse en fait. Je, je me sens juste que j'ai quelque chose en plus, c'est un titre. Mais une fois que j'enlève mon écharpe, je suis une femme comme tout le monde. Et être mise, c'est comme se glisser dans la, dans la peau d'une déesse, évidemment. C'est comme se glisser dans la peau d'une déesse, mais on n'en est pas une. Il faut, il faut rester humble. Il faut rester humble. Et, euh, et moi, je ne me sens pas du tout supérieure aux au joueurs. Okay, second question. Do you think that pageantry is like a blood sport? 
Alors, euh, oui, évidemment, c'est un, un concours. On est tout là pour quelque chose, on est tout là pour euh, remporter la couronne, mais je pense qu'au-delà de ça... <coughs> Sorry. Je pense qu'au-delà de ça, on est tout là pour représenter des valeurs. Euh, des valeurs environnementales, des valeurs écologiques, des valeurs humanitaires. Et c'est ce qui est une écoute. Vraiment, on s'entend tout très très bien. On, on passe de très bons moments. Bon, ça fait que deux jours, mais on passe de très bons moments. C'est très familial entre nous. Donc, euh, peut-être qu'il y en a qui se sentent comme dans un ring de boxe. Euh, moi, en tout cas, je ne me, me sens pas du tout comme ça. On, on profite en fait. On, on, on est là. On est là pour représenter des choses. On est là aussi pour, euh, pour s'amuser et pour, euh, pour euh, nous prouver à nous-mêmes qui on est aussi. Je pense que beaucoup d'entre nous euh, sont là pour prendre confiance en elles. Donc, euh, donc voilà, il faut juste profiter et garder que les choses positives et pas les choses négatives. Peu importe qui gagne, de toute façon il n'y aura qu'une gagnante sur 90. Donc peu importe qui, qui gagne, le principal c'est l'expérience. Le principal c'est de profiter, de participer, de montrer nos valeurs tout ensemble. Et, et voilà, tout simplement. Ok, j'espère que vous aimez sa réponse. Donc, je vais faire mon mieux pour traduire en anglais anglais les titres. Miss Sunit de Pink Brands. Donc, so, allons-y. Merci beaucoup so pour écouter. Ok, je suis ici maintenant avec Miss Cynthia de Pink Indonesia. Pouvez-vous nous dire plus sur vous Elle n'est pas Cynthia Luster, elle n'est pas Cynthia Rock Rock, juste Cynthia. Just Cynthia, Indonesia. Ok, okay. okay hello everyone. Mon nom est Lilith. Mon nom est Cynthia Kusubarani et je suis de l'Indonesie. Et maintenant, je suis 22 ans et je suis juste fini mon travail à communication science. And this is my first time to be in the Philippines. Okay, you're welcome. Very excited. <laughs> okay, okay. My per my question to her is: Do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? <laughs> goddess. <laughs> yes. Do do I should worship you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. And why? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, beauty pageant is uh, must like a goddess <laughs> because uh, beauty pageant is a perfect woman in everyone. I like it. Uh, must pretty, must beautiful brand and behavior. So this is a uh, perfect and perfect okay. <laughs> to be to be beautiful. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> okay, okay. Second question is: Do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? Blood sports? <laughs> yeah, you know, just like kumite. <laughs> Yeah. See? <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> Little bit. So, so you're willing to pick some... <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I think we uh, have support each other. In every candidate, I think. But a little, little bit like that. <laughs> Okay. Well, I hope that you like her answer uh, for uh, Cynthia of Team Indonesia. So I'm gonna move forward now. Okay, thank you. right now with Nikki of Team Netherlands. Can you please tell us more about yourself? Salam alaikum Philippines and hello everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki. I'm proudly representing the Netherlands and I'm 21 years old and I'm really excited to be here in the Philippines because I've been here since Tuesday and I really love it here. I love the people and it's really to what they say. It's more fun in the Philippines. So um, yeah, this year I'm going for Miss Europe 2019 and I've been here with all the other Okay, 
Did you know that uh, I met her boss last January and last year, and her teammates as well uh, for for the for the Miss Intercontinental held yes held here last January in Mall of Asia. So you know what I noticed about the Dutch people? They're not that uh, they're eager to sit on the dirty sidewalk, and I don't know why. Can you please explain that why? <laughs> I don't know. I think we're like just like down to earth, okay? We like oh no, that's fine. I'll just do that because yeah, we're not we're not scared or something. Or we just you're not scared of germs and bacteria. No. <laughs> okay. We're just like okay, let's go with the flow and let's go. Okay. Okay, here's my question. Yes. Uh, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? Like a, she think. Re, uh, treat like a goddess. Treat like a goddess. Uh, no, I don't think so. Because we are pageant girls, but we are also normal women. And uh, I think it's really important to treat everybody the same way. Because we are here and we are here for a reason. Not only because we have... Uh, Is, uh, do you think that pageantry is like a blood sport? Like a kumite? Like a kumite? Kumite? Yeah. Uh, Tournament? Boxing? boxing? Karate? Oh, like that? No, I don't think so. Why? I don't know. I met all the, uh, all the other women and they're super friendly and so nice. And I think that we're here for a few reasons because, uh, we, of course, we're here because we want uh, to let our Called this is blood sports. You wear a stiletto. How, how many hours do you wear stilettos? More than eight hours. I do, I do. Then, then does your foot blister? Uh, yeah, I guess. See, blister. that's the blood sports. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> do you fight? I do. Do you compete in a full contact environment? You're, yeah. gonna, you're gonna do talent competition. You're gonna do a uh, uh, long yeah. gown. Yeah. So that's a full contact already. Well, it actually is, yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. See? That's why I told you. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you like my interview with uh, Miss Netherlands. So moving forward. Thank you so much. Salam and goodbye. Okay, guys, I'm here right now with Ganesha of Team Mauritius, an island south of Africa, close to South Africa. A Can you? Island. Yes, okay. Can you please tell us more about yourself? So, I'm Ganesha from Santin, my island, which is Mauritius. I'm 22 years old and I'm a graduate in law and criminal justice and a diploma holder in aviation studies. Um, I'm a professional model in a Mauritius island. And, um, volunteer social worker and uh, I find I think that uh, I find happiness in helping others. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my question to you now is, do you think that pageant girls should treat like a goddess? Obviously, not only pageant girls, I believe, should be treated like goddess, but every girl, because every girl deserves to be treated like goddesses. Okay, 
eye. Do you think that we're should be equal in, yeah, in the eye? Everyone should be equal. It's, it, it's not about the slash, it's not about the front, but it's about the beauty inside and outside. Okay. Okay, I like your question. Uh, I like your answer. Okay. So, so next question is uh, uh, Do you think that pageantry is like a blood sport? Like a kumite, a karate, boxing? <laughs> Um, it's not like a karate, it's not like a boxing because it's all about competition but um, I think that it's not all about competition, it's about learning, learning things, about learning other cultures, languages, everything, you just learn, okay. that will help you grow, it's not just like a blood uh, sport like you're saying. Okay, how can I say that this is a blood sport? Does your foot yeah. blister when you wear your stiletto for a very long time? Yeah. So it's a blood sport. Um, <laughs> it's not kind of blood sport, but it's, it's a beauty that uh, girls should wear uh, high heels. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I hope that you like her answer. So please uh, uh, say hi to uh, Miss Mauritius. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move forward now. Uh, I'm gonna move forward now and thank you very much for watching this video. Okay, I'm here right now with Miss Susanna of Team Australia. Can you please uh, tell us more about yourself? Hi, yes sir. I'm Susanna Downs from Australia, Miss Australia 2019. I'm an actor, musical theatre, performer, singing teacher and children's entertainer when I'm not doing pageants. Okay, so be, uh, I'm gonna give you an information. She's a half Filipina yeah. from Sydney. If you couldn't tell by my face. Okay. <laughs> Hi, she's from Sydney yeah. and I reside before in the West Coast, Perth. Mm -hmm. So we get along some some uh, exp uh, experience that I made when I visit as well in Sydney before and my experience in Perth. But we're not here to tell you more about that. No. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna ask her some questions. Okay, can you please tell us more about yourself? Yes, so I grew up singing, dancing, acting, and that's why I got into being an actor. Um, my love of being on stage is also what brought me to being a pageant girl, and I've, also, I've always been doing charity ever since I was a child. Back in primary school, we were always raising money for like, good causes, um, but it wasn't until getting into Miss Earth last year that my life really changed within pageantry, you know, as someone taking part in a Miss Earth franchise pageant, your life literally changes, and that's the reason why I came back this year and I was able to search the crowd this time around. Oh yeah, I have an additional side question. Yeah. If, I know you're half Filipina, so why you did not compete under Miss Philippines Australia? Instead you joined... Oh, well, I did compete in Miss Philippines Australia in 2015. I was crowned Miss Charity Queen Australia there. But if you're asking why didn't I compete yes, at here, here. Phil here. Oz, Sydney, yes. 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 it's because I do all of my charity work at home in Sydney. Okay. And so my heart, like while my heart is, is here in the Philippines, my, my head, my body, my spirit is in Australia. Okay. And so I, it was a no-brainer for me to do all of my pageantry back home in Sydney. Okay. My question now is, uh, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? I think everyone should be treated like a goddess. Man, woman, dog, cat, anyone. So so we're all equal. We're all equal on this okay. planet. There's 8.7 billion species and we should all be treated equally. Yeah, I know that because that's the mandate of the Australian government. Yes. <laughs> okay, second question is, do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? I think it takes a lot of hard work and determination and I trained like an athlete to compete at my national pageant. So I guess in that sense it's like a blood sport, but not in the sense of fighting against other people and attacking other people, you know. When you join a pageant, you get along with the girls so well, you become a sisterhood. So in the sense of preparation, it's definitely like a blood sport, but within the competition, it's half a competition against yourself, not really about the other girls. But so you're 100 percent ready to fight I think in a full yes. full uh, full contact you know? yes very i'm very strong i, I huh? wait like so, day the week. <laughs> so we're gonna see that on the coming month this is a brutal brutal sports you know we're gonna see you uh the stress, you know, oh, lack, you of, lack, lack, yeah. Yeah. lack of sleep. I know that because I've seen these girls fight before. So I know that. 
I know that. So I hope that you like her answer and my interview with uh, Miss Susana of Team Australia. So moving forward now. I'm here right now with Miss Matea Henderson of Team Canada. Can you please introduce yourself to us? And please don't hate me, Natalie. <laughs> okay. Hi everyone, my name is Matea Henderson. I'm your Miss Earth Canada for 2019. Okay. Uh, can you please tell us more about yourself? Uh, I was born and raised in Toronto, Ontario, and now I live in Calgary, Alberta. Canada is the second largest country, and we have over 20% of the world's fresh water, so this year my advocacy is the importance of fresh water conservation. Okay. Uh, okay, my question to you is, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? I think everyone should be, no matter who you are, you're a human being and you deserve to be treated with decency. Okay, so we're all equal. Always. Even though you're a pageant girl, I'm a blogger, we're all equal. It doesn't matter, the thing is everyone has strengths and weaknesses and no matter who you are, those strengths and weaknesses make you who you are. Okay, uh, my next question to you is, uh, do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. You you don't understand what pageant women actually go through until you walk in their shoes, literally. I can show you the scars on my feet, but when you actually see what pageants really offer women, it's the same platform that men have in professional sports in a yes, way. in the contact so, sports. See? See. So That's why I told you. Blood sport so, so I told you this is a blood sports. But the, but the girls are always really, really nice. Yes. We really do have that sisterhood. Okay. Well, I hope that you like her answer, Miss Matea Henderson. Yeah. And Natalie, please don't hate me. Oh, You're the most beautiful girl, just like her. Okay. All right. Moving forward. I'm here right now with Miss Sydney of Team Guam, our neighbor from the east. Yes, my okay. Buhai neighbor, my Buhai Filipino. Okay, okay. Can you please tell us more about yourself? More about myself? I am 19 years old. I stand at 5'10", and I'm from the beautiful and mighty island of Guam. I know she's 19 and she's taller than me. Okay, <laughs> I'm over. I'm already 30 something. You know. Okay. Uh, Here's my question. Do you like Tia Mia? And can you please tell us more about what is your favorite Tia Mia song? I love Tia Mia and I would have to say Do It Again because it's a classic j book song remastered and brought to more popular, you know, radio music that everyone can play along to. Do it again! Yeah, there you go! And I, li I like also the Tia Mia songs, Mr. President and Let's Do It Again. Yes. Especially with Chris Brown. Yes, you know. yes. This is the one? Is yes, that's the one. one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here's my question to her. Do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? I do not believe that pageantry is like a blood sport. I know that we're all committed and we're all here to, you know, buy for that crown for our country. But Miss Earth is an organization and spreading positivity and creating a sense of unity between all countries. At the end of the day, we all are here for our countries and our environmental issues within each country, but it's all on the same planet and this is all our home all together. Okay. Uh, second question is, do pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? I believe that everyone should be treated with respect, a goddess, however you would want to treat something like that. I do not believe that I'm above anyone or anyone is below me. I believe that we are all equal and should all be treated equally. So we're all equal? All equal. Okay. All human beings are equal. You're a tall girl. Yes. Uh, what sports do you play? I think it's basketball. Absolutely not! Why? Actually, I suck at basketball, but I really love tennis and cheerleading in high school. I was a tennis uh, state runner-up. Okay. Okay. Can you please tell us more about Guam and his history connected to us? Oh, to the Philippines? Yes. Okay, so Guam was, you know, first inhabited and discovered around 3,000 years ago and then thus conquered by Spanish and got Spanish yes. influence, yes. same as the Philippines. You know that actually uh, during the Spanish time, Philippines, Guam is under one colony yes. yeah, before the Americans came and, and divided it. Yes, well, Japanese, but yes. Japanese and then... Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well,
while we almost uh, you know we're almost supposed to be a US colony as well but we choose to be independent sadly you know uh, different times different opinions so I hope that you like my interview with uh, Miss Wong and moving forward thank you so much Okay, I'm here right now with Miss Leisha Guerrero of Team Northern Marianas. Hello, neighbor. Hi, Mabu. Hi, everybody. Actually, she's a Filipino descent as well, who is, uh, I think, your uh, U.S. colony as well? Yes, I am. Okay. So, this is the first time that Northern Marianas uh, compete on Miss Earth 2019. And as well, do you know that Northern Marianas has a crucial part in World War II? That island is the launching point where the Americans bomb, uh, used the atomic bomb to bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, during the time where Colonel uh, Paul Tibbets uh, launched on a B-29 bomber from Northern Marianas all the way to Hiroshima. So just to give you an upfront, that's why uh, and we're neighbors. So they're close uh, in Northern Marianas. Uh, can you please tell us more about yourself? Uh, I'm Leisha. I'm 19 years of age. I grew up in the Northern Mariana Islands, but I was partially raised out in Oregon, the United States. Okay, yeah. Oregon. I got a relative there. Really? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, my question to you is, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? I believe that everybody should be treated equally and with respect. As far as goddesses, um, I believe that it's to my values and my religion that everyone should just be treated equally with respect to one another and all species, animals, and everyone. So we're all equal. That's yes. the main point, okay? Okay. Second question. Do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? Well, pageantry, I for one would consider it a sport, but as far as blood sport, I think that all of the girls are committed and willing to put their efforts and all their willpower into competing and representing each and every one of their countries. Okay. Um, I hope that, uh, can you please tell us more about Northern Marianas based on your experience? You know? Oh, okay. Based on what it's like back home? Yes. Oh, well, I would say the Northern Marianas is kind of like Philippines. We have a lot of Philippine uh, influence. We were also colonized by the Spaniards and they have also came to our islands. We have things such as the food and um, Filipino food and some of the culture. We still have like Filipino independence day. So you're actually Chamorro? Yes, I am. Okay. So you like Tia Mia as well? <laughs> yes, but she comes from the island of Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're our neighbor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, can you please tell us more about how you're trained in RL Angel fighting style? <laughs> This is a full contact sport, remember? We have KF, we got Asus and Queen. Yes. So now, we got RL Angel fighting style. <laughs> well, RL Angels have really helped me in terms of developing myself in pageantry, as well as on stage performance and who I am as a person. So they really played an important part in my journey here in Missouri. So, what kind of brutal training did you do? Did, <laughs> did, did they make you suffer? You know, something well, like that? Well, in the beginning, it was, it was pretty tough because we don't really have that kind of training back home. So I decided to come here one week prior to train because I knew that here in the Philippines, they're very determined and passionate about pageantry. So I told you, this is a blood sport. That's how she trained harder than anyone else. So, I hope that you like my interview. Yeah. In more I uh, mean uh, for Miss Leisha of Northern Marianas. So moving forward for the next lady that I'm going to interview. Well, I'm here right now with Miss Janine of Teen Singapore. Can you please introduce yourself to us? Hi, everyone. So my name is Jolene. I am from sunny Singapore. I'm 24 years old this year. And my environmental advocacy is that waste is a wasted resource. And I feel that we should all work towards a zero waste society. Thank you for having me today. Well, hello, neighbor. Hi. 
Bye. We're neighbors, okay? Deal with it. <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, can you please tell us more about yourself? Okay, so I'm 24. I'm 167 centimeters tall. In Singapore, that's relatively tall, I guess. Um, I'm an environment, health and safety coordinator. So my career does around, revolve around environmental management. I also studied nine years in environmental studies. So it's something I take uh, very seriously, environmental issues, and something I hold very close to my heart. Okay, well, uh, here's my other question to her. Uh, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? Should we be treated like a goddess? Yes. Um, well, I think all women should be treated like a goddess. Oh. Um, I believe each and every woman have their own strong suit. For me, uh, my, my strong suit here in this competition, I would think is my knowledge. So I do think uh, humans have a very good brain power and we should use it through innovation and technology oh. to help better the world. Do you like Changi Airport? This is just only a side question. <laughs> I love Changi Airport. So if you come to Singapore via a plane, it is almost 99% that you fly in via Changi Airport. Um, it is also noted that it's the best airport in the world. Yeah, I've been there twice. <laughs> I've been there twice. I like it so much. Yeah, so we have four terminals there and there's a really new mall there and it's very exciting. You should go visit it. Yeah. Do you like to eat? Uh, what's your national dish again? Wow, we yeah, are country is so many times. No, no, the chicken. What's the chicken? Chicken rice? Yes, chicken yeah, rice. Chicken rice. I love chicken rice. So there are many types of chicken rice as well. You can either steam it, soya sauce it, or roast it. So roasting is my favorite. I like roast chicken for myself. Roast chicken. Yeah. You, know, you know, when I was in Singapore, I'm too tired eating chicken because that's the cheapest meal that I got, you know. Uh, it's quite affordable there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's in Terminal 3. <laughs> How do I know that? Because I've been there, you know? <laughs> okay, my uh, next question to you is, do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? So, um, pageantry is definitely a competition. Oh. Um, there is a winner, so for Miss Earth, there would be the Earth, Air, Water, and Fire. Oh. Um, I think there is, a, to a certain extent, a competition between each girls. Um, but I think the friendship is what's most important here. Um, I'm so happy. I actually, before coming to this competition, coming here to Manila, I've made friends with Australia, Pakistan. So I'm really excited to finally come here and meet them and just meet the lovely people. So I'm excited to learn more from their culture and just more about them um, themselves. So this is very good. Um, but yeah, so competition aside, I do hope we are here to make friends and just have a good time. Okay, I hope that you like my interview with uh, Janine of Team Singapore. Singapore. And uh, I'm gonna move to another lady to be interviewed. So I hope that you like her answer. So moving forward. Thank you. Well, I'm here right now with Miss Alexa of Team Malta. Malta, Malta is an island in Europe uh, on the Mediterranean Sea. So can you please tell us more about yourself? My name is Alexia and I'm representing the tool of the Mediterranean Sea, Malta. I'm 25 years old and I work in Malta's General Hospital as a registered nurse. I work in an endocrine and nephrology ward. And this is my second week in the Philippines actually and I'm very very happy to be experiencing this amazing journey. Well, first of all, did you know that Malta is the last country to pass divorce law? I know it's here in the Philippines, we're already talking about passing our version of divorce, you know. So I'm just telling you now, but that's not different. So I'm just telling you, that's how, that is what's Malta right now, okay? So this is my question to you. Uh, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? I do believe that every woman actually should be treated like, like a goddess. We should empower each other and we should also take in consideration that us beauty queens we are putting ourselves forward so as to do something good whether it's about our advocacy whether it's volunteer work so not actually goddesses but we should be treated with respect because beauty pageants are, are still very relevant okay uh, and my next question to you is do you think that pageantry is like a blood sport it depends sometimes uh, I think it has, it has to be from the delegate itself. If you take it like very, very seriously, it's not that healthy. You should be, be fun, be humble, make friends with other girls. 
and I think that can make you move forward much more than being jealous. Or do you think? Do you think that you're a competitive athlete? I am a competitor. Okay, so for me, this is actually a pageantry sometimes a blood sport because if you're wearing stiletto for very long time, it blisters. So, so that's so it's gonna sore, and then that's considered a, a minor cut, and this is considered blood sports. Yeah. <laughs> so see. You take it from that aspect. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that you like my interview with uh, Miss Alexia of Team Malta, and moving forward now, so for the next uh, lady that I'm going to interview. Thank you, salamat po. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Well, I'm here right now with Miss Jayla of Team Bosnia and Herzegovina, former Yugoslavia. I know that because I'm good with world history, particularly global conflicts, okay? So, can you please tell us more about yourself? I'm Jayla Koralic. I'm 18 years old on 19 October here in Manila. I will be 19, so bring a party. Uh, I uh, am Miss Earth Bosnia and Herzegovina, as you can see, and I'm going to represent my country on this world pageant. So, okay. Um, do you know that uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, and uh, what's that? And other countries, Croatia, so. are are those used to uh, used to be a one one country? Well, yes. Okay. So, but sadly, global conflict happened. And did you know that Mostar is very iconic place that it blew up? And uh, based on National Geographic, they rebuilt it after the war. Yes. Yeah, and she was it's the hottest place. Yes. In, uh, you know, Australia. you know, Christians and Muslims can co coexist to each other. I believe that back by should come to and visit Kiapo, Manila. You're gonna see there's a, a Roman Catholic on the on on the right side and on the left side there's a mosque. Yes. Yes. In here in Manila. So we could yes. yes Kiapo, Manila. Okay. 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 I'm gonna surprise you. Kiapo Church on the right side, then Mosque on or Kiapo Mosque on the left side. So so Muslims and Christians can coexist to each other. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? Muslim. Ah, it's okay. Muslim, Muslim. Okay. You're a very beautiful Thank Muslim you. girl. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, okay, here's my question to her. Uh, do you think that pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? No, we are just regular same girls as we are with or without crown. So people should treat us normally and we should treat all people all the same. We don't need uh, to do discrimination and to treat uh, some maybe who, someone who is more rich than uh, another. We treat them better. No, we need to treat all the all the people in the world the same. So we are humans and we need to treat all the Right, second question. Do you think that pageantry is like a goddess? Like a goddess? Yes. Ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Alright, second question. Do you think that pageantry is like a blood sports? Yes, I think it is like a blood sports. Uh, I'm very competitive because I'm an athlete. Um, you need to go through all the stress, pain and the hardship to win the title. Okay. Well, I hope that you like her answer for my question to her. So, can you please uh, say hi again to our viewers? Mabuhay from Philippines. Is that how you say that? Yeah, mabuhay. Mabuhay from Philippines. It means to live. To live. To live. Yeah. Okay. In, in Israeli, shalom. In shalom. Islam. Uh, <laughs> malaikos, uh, what do you call it? In uh, Islam? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. We answer it, malaikos sayo. Alaikum <laughs> sayo. <laughs> okay. But it's um, good. It's yeah, good. Right. Okay. I hope that you like her answer. So moving forward to another lady. Bye. Okay, I'm here right now with Miss Janelle Lasoti, Team Philippines. I know you like you like her. My interview to her last time we met in uh, SM Baliwag Bulacan, and I could not ask her the same question before. So we're gonna interview and how she prepared KF fighting style. Yes, yes, I've been really preparing so hard. Of course, abangan niya yan. Papakita ko kapag uh, na kami. <laughs> okay, I think she's preparing for a special one, special fighting attack. Yes, for special. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not 
how are you gonna call it? It's not lava. We cannot use lava walk. We cannot use tsunami walk. Yeah. You already showcased uh, the Pasig River walk. Oh, yeah. That's her signature move. <laughs> and maybe we could make it super. A new one. Yeah, super Pasig River walk. Oh, like a man. super Hadouken. <laughs> but I, 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 I asking her to name it based on my style. Okay. Oh, Shoryuku. Shoryuku. What's Shoryuku? Rising Dragon Walk. You're Chinese. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, right. so, I, so I think when we combine the uh, Ansatsu Ken fighting style used by Ryo and Ken of Street Fighter, Shoryu Ken, which is Rising Dragon Punch. Yeah. So because I, I checked the word walk, we uh, we just use the Shoryu, which is Rising Dragon. Uh, the, the right word for walk in Japanese is Aruku, and I just shorted it, Shoryuku. So, wow. so if I were you, please use my name. Use the name, yeah. Because it shows the her Chinese heritage, which is the dragon is a uh, is like a mythical beast, you know. Okay. So can you please invite uh, our viewers for your fight? You know? so, yeah, please watch on October 26th the coronation night of Miss Earth. I like the Facebook page of Miss Earth so that you'll be updated for so the free patch of the images that we have October 1st up to the before the coronation night. We have a lot of free patches of the from Sinsu, the long gown, the national costume. So I hope to see you guys there and I'm, I'm so excited to share this journey with all of you. Okay, let me ask her again. Is this full contact sports for the, uh, any girls that here? Uh, what? Do you think that pageantry is like a full contact sports? <laughs> um, full contact sports. Yes, I think it's also a sport. We train like athletes, you know, we prepare for the competition. And then now it's time to showcase what we prepare for. So, yeah, I think it's... So, so she got one shot yeah. for this. <laughs> then no more, you know. Yes, yeah. Okay, I hope that you like my interview with Miss Janelle Lasso T of Team Philippines. So, moving forward to another lady. Thank you. Well, I'm here right now with Miss Nelly of Team Puerto Rico. Nelly as in Nelly Portado. Can you please tell us more about yourself? Well, as you guys may know, my name is Nelly Sinatel and I'm representing the island of Puerto Rico this Miss Earth 2019. Um, I don't know, what, you, what would you like to know about me? I recently graduated from studying psychology and marketing from the University of Puerto Rico. I also um, am new to this pageant world. This is actually my first pageant ever, um, both in Puerto Rico and the international. Okay. The international Level, okay. Scale. So this is your first blood. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This first is my blood. First pageant. Okay. Okay, so, you know, we're technically cousins, yes. you know, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Philippines are cousins. Mm -hmm. How? You should watch, you should learn your history wow. in 1898 Spanish-American War. Yes. You know? um, so, yes, I would consider us cousins because the Spanish-American War in 1898, we do share a lot of customs, um, we do share a lot of, um, for example, the Catholic... Uh, culture. Yes. Yeah, the Catholic culture, the food is almost based same. on rice, beans, and, and some type of protein, and our love for Christmas, I think. Yes. Yes, if you if you stay here more, maybe if you can uh, stay for December, you're gonna yeah. see what kind of Christmas we got here. Yeah. Actually, it's Christmas season now. Yeah, it's September. They told me when you it's four months of Christmas. September, October, all the bear months and December. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, but we have in Puerto Rico. But we still have the Todos los Santos, yeah. the Day of the Dead. Yeah. It's not a zombie strike, you know, zombie attack. It's a day of mourning for the dead. Yeah. I'm just clarifying you. So, yeah. See how crazy this yeah, is. But then in Puerto Rico, <laughs> So our Christmas begins November 1st okay. and it extends up to almost February, I would okay. say. Because we have a lot of uh, festivities after December. Okay. May I please ask who is your favorite uh, reggaeton artist? Me, Daddy Yankee, Pitbull, uh, uh, and many more. Uh, J-Lo, of course. <laughs> but J-Lo is not considered reggaeton. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. A favorite reggaeton artist. I'm not. I don't know. I'm more into um, R&B and salsa okay. and okay. other other genres than reggaeton. Yeah. 
Okay. Because I like the spacito. So today I'm going to ask her my question. So uh, can you please tell us uh, if do you think that a pageant girl like you should treat like a goddess? Um, that's a really tough question. But yes. I mean, so treat treat my question like a final round. You know. I think we are here for we put ourselves in this platform for something bigger that represents us. I do not think that we should be treated as goddesses per se because it is not something I do not consider myself better than other people in that sense maybe. I think we all have our strengths, our differences, and our purposes. Mine is to be here right now advocating for environmental and for social change that we need to have. So my answer would be no. Okay, so everyone are equal, okay? Yes. Okay, so my second question to you is, do you think pageantry is like a blood sport? I do think that it is a blood sport, a blood sport. However, I would say it is more of an internal sport than a contact sport. For example, boxing, rugby, football. Karate. Huh? Yeah, karate and many martial arts. Arts. They're mostly focused on having an opponent. Yes. I think that in pageantry, that opponent is usually ourselves because of the pressures that we are put in, of the training that we put ourselves through, and of the time, the time consumption it takes to be a pageant woman. Yes. Okay. So. Because if you remember, for me this is a blood sport. Because if you seen these girls wear stiletto for very long time, their their yes. foot sores and it bleeds. So of course this is a blood sport. No, no other woman dare enough to wear stiletto for more than eight hours. Maybe in some office, but this is a competitive <laughs> sport, you know. So I believe this is uh, considered a blood sport already. So I hope that you like her answer for my interview to her, and I'm moving forward for.